Hey, good morning. It is Monday morning, and I'll uh, take a quick look at the calendar. Um, we have um, Fed members speaking tomorrow, the Fed chairwoman, a lot of the other members are speaking. Um, housing permits on Tuesday, not really anything on the calendar today. Um, we have a Fed member speaking. So Tuesday is Fed day, and then um, we have our crude report on Wednesday, and on Thursday is a big day. We've got the European Union um, interest rate decision, which could be a big um, decision time. I'll be paying attention to what they're talking about leading up to that decision. We've got um, last week a um, first time um, deflationary recession with that um, minus 0% GDP printed last week. So I'll be watching that, see if that impacts any of my dollar denominated commodities or currencies, and it could work very well. Uh, existing home sales coming up on Thursday. Um, Hillary goes to Congress on Thursday, so that'll be exciting. And then on Friday, we've got um, Baker Hughes rig, rig count, so that and manufacturing PMI. But um, overall, a relatively impactful week with that ECB press conference on their interest rate decision. Uh, that could impact the dollar tremendously if they decide to raise rates because um, they had that deflation peak its ugly head into their recession. So getting a look at the charts, overnight we had um, Sunday, we had China come out with disappointing um, GDP year over year for the third quarter. It beat their 6.8, but it was still very disappointing. Uh, one of the lowest readings in a long time. Um, so that sent crude down. Right now crude has been testing this area at 4640. Um, we are in a downtrending market. So I would imagine that we would punch through to test this pivot low um, before bouncing up potentially. We have already broken this trend line and are downtrending. So um, keep an eye on my daily trend line. I need to remove these boxes. This is my trade box for today. But um, here's my trend line support. I would imagine to see a little bit of buying coming in at 40, 45.50 to support this market. So we could get a dollar flush today and then see some um, buyers stepping in at 45.50 to support that trend line. So a um, little bit of resistance here at this, ever, at this level. I'm enjoying my 30 minute um, mini profiles. I'm trading them just like you do your um, daily profile. I have the daily and a 30 minute profile in this chart and it really has helped me get my trading around, especially when price punches through these 30 minute levels. And when I'm trading in the direction of the higher time frame level uh, with my direction guide momentum, and now I incorporate those 30 minute pivots in that, 30 minute profiles rather, it's really, really been helpful. So um, I'll just continue using that. Um, following the weekly daily 6015 for my higher time frame trend direction. Uh, taking a look at the indexes, we hit that wall um, 
on 4400 and came back down starting to come back down and I would be looking for some bounces at these levels um, come back and test this layer right here at um, 4409 so back at 4400 another bounce area back up so um, if that fails then the upswing would be at this moving average which is your 50 I think I have a 50 yeah 50 moving average up so one of these two levels I would be looking for a resumption of the trend uh, but right now we are in a downtrend off the weekly daily so we're counter trending and that's got to be off that bad China news so we might have a little retracement Monday for the indexes and um, I think the clearer shot at a directional move will be the downside a buck in um, crude the ATR is running about a buck seventy five and I know that we've got about a buck left on the downside before we hit some resistance at forty five fifty. At this trend line. So that's really I think the better shot today is capturing that downside move and going with the weekly daily 6015 on crude. So I'll be looking for continuation moves to the downside, see if we can punch through this level. And using these 30 minute profiles on market profile MP lines, I set this up with a daily profile and then I put another profile on my chart. So I'm running multiple versions. I have the daily version here and then I add another one on the chart for the 30 minute so I can go even further inside of it and I trade the 30 minute just like you would a daily. Do you see how price responds at the previous levels, points of control, um, session opens for the 30 minute uh, and when they break out of these ranges with your trend that's what I'm looking for so this has been very 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 helpful for me and if anyone would like the MP line indicator so that you can use these previous session values including the 30 minute to take inflections from to set up inflections off of these 30 minute levels um, like I have mine set up right here, get you back in. Um, let me know. Um, the version that you buy on the web does not allow you to take the previous value areas he has given me a version that exposes those previous value area plots so that we can use them in bloodhound um, let him know when you order it that you're ordering through j auto trading strategies you will get a 25 dollar discount and then let me know support at J Auto Trading Strategies that you've purchased it and I will send you the version that opens up these previous value areas so that you can use it in Bloodhound to get signals. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day and I hope you have a lot of success in trading today. Bye-bye.